Hello students, today we will discuss on the cost concepts. We have understood the production function and we have understood the relevance of cost of production. So, cost of production theoretically if we have to uh, explain it is the total cost of the inputs which are going into the production process. So, total cost will constitute our total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Now, before uh, discussing more on the fixed before cost, discussing the concepts of total cost of total fixed cost and total variable cost, let us first understand what is an economic cost. Economic cost of a product or economic cost of production. Now, economic cost constitutes of two parts. One is the implicit cost or what we also term it as imputed cost, imputed cost and second category is our explicit cost. As the name suggests implicit cost which is a coming from the word implied, so it is an implied cost of production. Supposing a businessman is doing business from his own home. He is not paying the rent to anyone outside the business. So, that becomes an implicit cost for the, uh, uh, for the uh, factor owner, for the uh, entrepreneur. So, implicit cost is other costs which are not paid to any factor of production outside the business, but it is the implied cost of the owner himself. An explicit cost as its name suggests, it, it comes from the word expressed. So, it is expressed or given to someone outside the business. So, it is not an implied cost, but uh, for example, if we pay the rent to someone outside the business, the uh, uh, owner takes the property on rent and he conducts business from that rented property. So, that rent is going outside the business, not to the owner, but to the third party. So, all the costs which go to third party. For example, wages, telephone, rent, electricity, all those becomes the explicit cost. So, cost, economic cost constitutes two main parts, implicit cost and explicit cost. When we add both of these, we come to the uh, term which is known as the economic now, next concept under cost concepts is opportunity cost concept. Opportunity cost, generally it is defined as the next best alternative which is foregone for making a certain product. If we take a very simple example, all of you would be getting some pocket money. I am sure we all we must be getting some pocket money from our parents. Let us suppose there is a person X and this person gets a pocket money of let us suppose 1000 rupees per month. Okay. Now, out of this 1000 rupees, this person has to bear his personal expenses so, personal expenses, food, travel, etc., maybe out of this 1000, he has to pay personal expenses. Then, he has some expenses for emergencies. He is keeping aside some amount for emergencies and then some amount he has kept it for his entertainment. Now, let us take uh, from this entertainment portion let us suppose personal expenses are 500, three, 300 he keeps for emergencies and entertainment he has kept 200 rupees. Now supposing this person decides to go for a movie or second alternative that he has maybe he can eat out with his friends. Now, suppose this person X decides that he will go for a movie. He will not eat out, but he will watch a movie. So, the opportunity cost of movie is the cost of eating out because that is at the cost of eating out that he is watching a movie. Another case is in case he decides to eat out. In this case, the opportunity cost is the co uh, cost which is foregone by this person, which is the cost of seeing a movie. So, opportunity cost for eating out is the cost of seeing a movie and the opportunity cost of seeing a movie is the cost of eating out. 
So opportunity cost concept is the next best alternative which is foregone by the person to make or uh, do a certain thing. Now if we talk in terms of production, the producer has let's suppose a certain piece of land. This piece of land can be used for setting up industry. It can also be used for farming. It can also be used for housing. So this piece of land has various alternatives. So the next best alternative which is foregone becomes the opportunity cost. So suppose this person wants to start an industry, the opportunity cost of starting the industry will be the next alternative to which this particular land piece can be utilized for. For example, farming. Maybe the person could do just farming, but now he is not doing the farming, but he is planning to set up the industry. So the opportunity cost becomes the cost of the item which is foregone. So opportunity cost means the next best alternative which is foregone to produce a certain product. I hope you are all clear with your cost concepts Hello now. Hello students, our next concept under cost concepts is the cost uh, concept of normal cost. Normal cost means, uh, let's, let's uh, start with an example. Let's suppose a person has 10 lakh rupees to invest. Now this 10 lakhs is kept spare with him. If this person keeps this amount in a bank, it will earn a rate of interest of let's say 7% per annum. This is the return this person is getting on an investment of 10 lakh rupees. Now suppose this person decides to do business. Okay, now this person is deciding to do business with this 10 lakh rupees and he is expecting a rate of return rate of return which is also known as ROI of let's say at the rate of 20% per annum so he is expecting that on a 10 lakh rupees of investment he will be getting 20% 20 20 increase at the end of the year so this becomes its rate of return in simple terms now supposing the how do we define this normal cost now? Now when we are considering the total cost, this amount which he is foregoing to do the business. Now in this case the opportunity cost concept comes here also that a person if he decides to do business and earn a rate of return of 20%, the next best alternative which he is foregoing is investing that money in a bank and getting a simple interest of 7% per annum. So this interest becomes this person's normal cost. So at least uh, this amount the person should be earning by doing business. If he is not doing uh, getting at least this much amount then it is not worth for him to keep invest uh, doing business. Otherwise he will just keep it in the bank and simply earn a rate of interest. So what is here is this rate of return becomes a normal rate of return and this will be a part of his total cost. So what we have here is the normal profit and this 7% is what is termed as his normal profit. So this much at least this person should be getting to motivate him to stay into business and this normal profit becomes a part of your total cost. So this is known as normal profit or normal cost. Normal cost is the minimum which the person is supposed to earn if he is not utilizing those funds for doing business. If he is doing business, obviously he will be getting something more than this 7% which he, if he is just not doing anything, he may be getting through bank. By just keeping the money aside in a bank, he is earning a rate of interest. So this becomes his normal cost. So if we do take economic cost, economic cost is equal to implicit cost plus explicit cost plus normal profit so that this this is an economic cost concept 
that economic cost constitutes implicit cost. Implicit cost in our last lesson we understood. It is the imputed cost of the owner who provides the factor of production himself. Explicit cost which is paid to someone outside the business in terms of money. And the normal rate of return which a person is expected to get from not doing anything. By just investing his funds, whatever return the person is getting, that becomes the normal profit. So, if we add these three, we get what we have now is the economic cost. And this economic cost is different from what we uh, term as the normal cost or uh, like net profit or gross profit or direct cost, indirect cost. Those are different concepts. Here, what we are considering only the implicit cost, explicit cost and the normal rate of return or what is termed as the normal profit and this constitutes the economic